Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku Extreme Z Battle event has finally arrived on Global. And in today's video, we're gonna try to get through it as quickly as possible so that I can Extreme Z Awaken my Goku and bring you guys the showcase as quickly as possible. Now, as you can see, we do have a timer above my head. So, if you want to race me to see who can finish it faster, then feel free to go ahead and do so. Now, you might have also noticed that we're starting from level 2 today, as opposed to level 1, because I'm dumb, and uh, I didn't realize that <laughs> I wasn't recording the first time around until I finished level 1. So if you guys do want to race me, then uh, make sure you finish level 1 first before you jump in. So uh, as far as the team goes, we're running a Majin Power team, because that is the uh, effective category, and obviously, you don't want to bring any AGL types because uh, Goku's tech, and you also don't want to bring any super types after level, I think it's 14 or something like that. Uh, either way, super types are not effective here because Goku gets some ridiculous damage reduction. I think it's like 80% against super types. So your best bet is either a really good uh, extreme int team or a Majin power team like this. Now with all that said, I'm gonna get ready to start the timer. Once again, start from level two, if you're racing me. And uh, let's jump in in three, two, one, go. Okay, we're in, level two. Level one wasn't too bad, but obviously you guys uh, didn't get to see that. Okay, so let's put Kid Boot in the front. Uh, this is an ideal rotation. I'm pretty sure we should be able to kill Goku with just the Kid Buu and the Buhan. Yeah, 3.2 mil for Kid Buu, not too shabby. Did it max out his links? Don't remember. I'm trying to think if that's with Big Bad Bosses maxed out. I don't think it is though. I don't think I did that. Anyways, that's one level down, 40 seconds in, not too bad. Okay, okay, next, level three. Luckily, we have a lot of good Buhans or Boo Tankses on our friend list, so I don't have to spend too much time actually looking for friends. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, we're fine, actually. I was like, I should have saved those for the Boo Tanks, but we still got a lot of orbs anyway, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Ooh, okay, one shot right there. Yo, Kid Buu is actually, like, kinda underrated. I mean, he does have deficiencies, don't get me wrong, like, he's not a good defender by any means. His defense still needs work. But offensively, I mean, he is... He's a monster, man. Like, this guy hits really hard. Okay, so, uh, this evil Buu, I almost never use, right? Like, I don't remember the last time I actually ran him on a team, but he is actually going to be really, really good here because he gets an additional guaranteed super against the uh, Majin Buu Saga enemies. And since the Goku is, you know, Majin Buu Saga, didn't get to see it there. But he should be getting at least two supers every single run or every single turn. Um, and sometimes three supers with the hit of potential. So... Yeah, he's a good choice here if you guys uh, weren't thinking about bringing him. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do this. Let's do that. Get the Fizz orbs to drop, and there we go. 24k super for the friend Boo Tanks. Uh, about 2.5 mil. Okay, so not too good. But we should still be able to kill him with this rotation. Additional uh, buff Boo doing some good damage, and there he goes. All right, we're speeding through these levels, guys. We're speeding through these levels. Okay, 34 seconds for that one. Thank you to everybody on my friends list. I don't know who you are, because I, you know, I don't see the names, but thank you to everybody, man, that set their uh, friend lead to Boo Tanks. Really saving me a lot of time here. Did I set mine to Boo Tanks? I don't think I did actually. 
Well, I mean, I'm not going to do it in the middle of the race, in the middle of the video, but I should probably do that. Uh, I'm a bad friend. I'm a bad friend, guys. I apologize to everybody on my friends list that has to deal with that. Okay, so there's one super, and then there's the second one. Yeah, he, he gets the double super, but maybe he's not the best choice just because like his attack stat's not the greatest. But I'm pretty sure he has level 1 links, so that's also a big part of it. Like, I don't really work on units that I don't use regularly, right? And the Super Boo, or the Evil Boo, rather, is uh, definitely a unit that I do not use regularly. But, I mean, it's good enough for now. So I'll keep him for the time being. It takes time to switch out units, and it's just not worth it at the present difficulty of these stages. But if I start struggling, or if I start like just, you know, taking too long with later levels, then maybe I'll swap it out. All right, still making good time here, guys. I don't think we've taken more than one rotation so far. Okay, level eight, another boot tanks. There we go. All right. So while we're here, let's have a little discussion. Let's have a little discussion about uh, exactly what is going on with the <laughs> the banner on global right now. I mean, I don't understand what they're doing. Um, <laughs> everybody expected Janemba, right? LR Janemba is supposed to be part two of the Gogeta celebration. And instead we got a, this, this really random top legendary summon with uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. And while they're both good units, uh, I don't think anybody's getting hyped for that banner, you know? And it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, I don't I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know when we're going to be getting Janemba, because after this, we should be getting the Heroes collab with JP. So I guess maybe after that one, we'll get Janemba. Or we're supposed to get... I feel like we're supposed to be getting... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Super Vegeta. Or like around Christmas time so maybe Janemba's in between and then for actual Christmas banner like very close to Christmas we'll get the Super Vegeta maybe something like that I don't I don't really know it's just weird though because like obviously Janemba makes the most sense because we just got Gogeta right so like logically he should be a part two to the celebration even if we didn't know what happened on JP which you know was Gogeta part one Jan Janemba part two um, but even if we didn't know that, I mean, it just made sense for them to release a Janemba after, so... Uh, things are weird on Global right now. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, yeah, it's just confusing, guys. It's just it's just a mess right now. And uh, while we're, I guess, talking, um, I know people are kind of nervous about this upcoming maintenance on Global. Um... There's a decent amount of people who seem to think that that's when they're going to initiate this ban wave for anybody that used the glitch, you know, the attack stat glitch with the airplane mode and all that stuff. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. I'm not super concerned about it. I'm not super concerned about it. I feel like the maintenance is there just to fix the, the error or, or fix the bug or the glitch or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, they're not banning people. At least I don't think so. Obviously, I don't know for sure. I could be completely wrong, so don't take my word for it. Um, I just feel like the whole threat of the of the ban was a uh, was a bluff, you know, just to get people to not use it until they actually uh, get a chance to patch it out, which should be, you know, when this maintenance happens on Sunday, they'll patch it out, and then nobody will be able to use it anymore. Uh, but I don't think people actually get banned for it. But once again, what do I know, right? I, I don't know anything for sure right now. Maybe we will, and uh, that would really suck. That would really, really suck. Um, I have been asked if like I do get banned, because obviously I did use my main account for that, because I just did not think <laughs> there was going to be you know, any threat of a ban, but... You know, let's say I do get banned, fingers crossed I don't knock on wood, but let's say it does happen, what would I do? 
you know, would I quit Dokkan, would I start a new account, and uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it right now. I'm kind of on the fence about it, because on the one hand, I think it'd be kind of interesting to start fresh, you know, it'd be kind of fun to start from the beginning and like experience everything over again as like a new player, kind of, right? Um, but obviously with more, more knowledge now, so I won't struggle as much as I did when I first started like many years ago. Or would I just like move on to something else, you know, like focus on other things on the channel, like I don't know, uh, console gaming, unboxings, uh, food challenges, that's always been something that I've wanted to do, man, just eating a lot of food. Um, the idea was to start a series called Eat Like Goku, which is my Twitter handle, and uh, just like do these crazy food challenges, because if anybody knows me, well, I guess like a lot of you guys don't know me in real life, but anybody that knows me, like my real life friends know, that I am one of the biggest eaters um, out there, <laughs> you know, like, you can question my abilities for almost anything, but you can't question my eating capabilities, you know, that's like, that's my thing. So, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do some videos where I just like eat a crazy amount of food, do these like food challenges, uh, whether it be like for pizza or wings or sushi, ramen, whatever, right? And I have won multiple ramen eating challenges, I'll have you know, so, you know, definitely uh, something I've considered. But anyways, getting back to the main topic at hand, would I quit Dokkan? Um, I don't think so, I don't think so. I think if the ban does actually happen, if, uh, you know, they follow through with their threat, which I still think is crazy, I still think is super, super ridiculous, but uh, that aside, I think I would do one of two things. Um, I would either start a new global account, right? I would just start from zero, start fresh, experience the game all over again from, uh, you know, from the very beginning. Or I would focus on my JP account instead. Now, my JP account, I did not touch the glitch or anything. You know, I didn't try that on there. So, um, and it's still pretty decent, you know, like it's, it's out, out of date for sure. It's, uh, pretty behind in terms of like new units because I haven't summoned on that account for a while but you know I still have like uh, UI Goku, SSB, Vegeta, um, some really top tier units so I at least have like some good teams I can use to clear some of the newer events right so that might be the move if uh, you know I don't start fresh on global. Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure like if I did that like, obviously, it'd be, I guess, easier to get back into it than starting from nothing. But at the same time, it would feel a little bit dirty <laughs> because I've always stayed true to my global roots. You know what I mean? Like, I've always been kind of the global guy, I guess. I don't know. For, like, years, I've just, I've had many opportunities. Like, I've always had the, the choice of going over to JP, right? And just, like, focusing on JP full time. But... I don't know, man. I've just always wanted to stay loyal to Global, but, uh, you know, obviously, this is a unique situation. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll let you guys know, <laughs> obviously, what I decide once we know what happens after Sunday. Um, just to be clear, I still think that there's not going to be a ban. I think our accounts will be okay. Anybody that tried the glitch. Um, I don't think they'll actually follow through, but there is a small chance. There's that chance. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, while I was talking, hopefully I was still playing the game because <laughs> sometimes I get lost in my train of thought and like I don't like play as effect or efficiently as I could. Um, but I think we're doing okay this time. I think I think we're doing okay this time. I mean, it looks like we're making good time. We're just under 13 minutes now, and uh, we're on level, I'm actually not sure, what level is this? 13, 14, 15? I'll see you soon. But yeah guys, um, that's just my thought process right now, 
I'm not going to make any decisions until we know exactly what happens. And uh, if you guys are nervous, I understand. Uh, I wouldn't be too nervous though because I, I think we're safe. But I do want to at least make sure that people are aware, I guess, that there is still a chance. Because after all, you know, it's Bandai, so you never know what they're going to do. You know, they, they've been known to do some pretty uh, unreasonable or dumb things, so... Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. <sighs> uh, by the way, moving on to a more lighthearted topic, a more positive topic. If you guys missed my pack opening video from yesterday, I pulled a pretty, pretty uh, valuable card from uh, the new set of uh, Dragon Ball Super cards. It's uh, a secret rare, which is the highest rarity in in the card game. Uh, it's kind of like an LR, I guess, in uh, Dokkan, except I would say more rare, just because the pull rate is uh, lower, I guess. I haven't done the math, so I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's lower. It's something like you can get one out of every six boxes, and every box has 24 packs. So one out of... Uh, let me let me do the math real quick. 144, right? 144 packs is in six boxes. There's 24 packs per box. So 144 packs. Let's say that's 144 multis. So one in every 144 multis is the rate for one secret rare. Is that correct? Is that? Is that the actual rate? Yo. That's crazy. That that's that's even worse than I originally thought. Like I never took the time to think it through, but I guess it is one in one forty four, right? At least that's based on what people have told me is, is the actual rate. It's it's two secret rares per case. Each case has twelve boxes. So it's basically one for every six boxes. And every box has 24 packs. Oh my god. That is awful. <laughs> that is a terrible rate. Okay, so anyways, getting back to what I was trying to say. We pulled one of these secret rares. Um, and I looked it up. It's it's right now currently going for about 300 USD, which is not crazy. You know, we've seen cards go for a lot more. But to me, that is by far the most valuable card I've ever pulled. And... Uh, I got pretty hyped. <laughs> I got pretty hyped. Now, it's a character that you might not really expect. It's a character that, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's not my favorite character. I, I, I still like this character, but I wouldn't call it like a hype character by any means to me personally. I know some people like them a lot, but uh, it wasn't the one I was going for. But it, as it turns out, it's actually like the second most valuable card in the set. There is one other secret rare that's worth a little bit more. But uh, they're basically like around the same price. So go check it out, guys. It was it was awesome. You know, like it was a nice break from all this doom and gloom stuff that uh, people have been talking about in Dokkan recently. And it was fun. So So check it out. Um, I still know nothing about the actual card game. Let me just be clear. I'm still very much a noob when it comes to that stuff. Uh, I would like to learn the rules one day, but for now, I'm just a collector. I like how the cards look. It's exciting to pull nice, rare cards or just cards that look good. So that's why I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, go check it out, guys. I'll probably put a link above my head if I remember somewhere over there. Uh, but if you don't see that, then you can just go to the channel. And uh, it's like the last video that was posted before this uh, yesterday. So go check it out, guys. You know what? For a quick teaser, I'll show you guys a few cards that are not the secret rare that I pulled. So you can uh, get a taste for what to expect. Okay, so here is a really sick dark Broly. Look at that. Oh, that looks terrible. Okay, so the glare is making it look really bad. But you guys can get a sense of what it looks like like this dark broly is probably my favorite pull in terms of uh card art just because he looks so sick and we also have we also have this gigantic meteor card which is my promo card oh it's reacting weird with the green screen um 
Trust me, guys, it looks awesome. I know this looks terrible, but at the same time, it's a preview. So, uh, maybe it should look terrible. It looks much better in the video. Look, It looks much better in the actual uh, pack opening video. So, that's the gigantic meteor. And we also have this uh, Kauken Goku punching Vegeta right in his dumb face. There you go. And when I say that, that's no disrespect to Vegeta. I love Vegeta, but... He's getting punched in his dumb face. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Three dope cards that I pulled, but of course, the main one, I'm going to keep a secret. I'm going to keep it hidden just so uh, there's still a little bit of anticipation for the actual pack opening video. And I only opened 12 packs yesterday. There's still 12 other packs from this box that I have yet to open. So stay tuned for uh, a second part to this box. Um, unfortunately, I... I'm 99% sure you can't get a second secret rare. I think it's maximum one per box. I've heard in the past... Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I was going to say, I think someone told me at some point you could get multiple secret rares in a box. But maybe, maybe that's just wishful thinking. I, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it's always one per box. Either way, I'm... I'm, I'm 99.9% .9 sure we're not going to be getting another secret rare so that like hype element i guess is kind of gone but there are still some crazy looking cards in this set that i really want to get my hands on there's this uh super saiyan broly which i love there's this um hit actually that looks really freaking sweet so there's definitely still oh there's a kefla there's a super saiyan 2 kefla that i want want really bad so yeah, there's still quite a few things we can get that would I would I would personally consider really hype. So, anyways, part two coming for that. And now we're on level 21, so we're just under, or I guess just over, a minute per level. Obviously, these later ones are taking much longer, and I'm not getting the best orb placement here, so it's been hard to actually get good supers off. Okay, so let me pay attention a little bit to the gameplay now. Uh, I kind of want to see how much damage we're actually doing to the Goku at this point. Okay, so that was about a third of his HP. Maybe about a quarter, actually. Not too shabby. We're getting double supers here, of course. One more. Triple. No, okay, that's fine. Finish it. Finish it. Do it. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. What a clutch. Additional. All right. Here we go. So now we're on level 22. I feel like we're making, making decent time. But once again, I'm not sure if I was like talking too much and just like lost track uh, of what I was doing for a bit. I just wasted a lot of time. I've done that before. People have been very frustrated with me when I did like races with Talon or, uh, you know, Toon or whatever other people. And they're just like, bro, like, why can't you talk and play at the same time? Like, it's not that hard. But for me, sometimes it is. And sometimes I just get too lost in what I'm saying and I forget to play the game. And obviously for a race, you can't really do that. I should know with Talon, it wasn't even talking. <laughs> with Talon, it was me being stupid and cocky. And I had a huge, huge lead on this guy. Like, I, I was guaranteed to win. And I actually found a way to lose because I was like, yo, I'm so ahead. I'm going to pop the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta's active skill. Not once but twice during the race and they're like 20 seconds each time at least right so um i ended up losing by i think 10 seconds i ended up losing the race by 10 seconds and i could have saved myself 50 seconds if i just didn't use the active skill so to this day people don't let me forget about it and they shouldn't because you know i deserve all the <laughs> ridicule and all the criticism after that i mean 
it's something that I'll never forget, you know? For the rest of my life, I'll probably always think back to that moment where, um... Where I failed. But you know what? Even though that was a big failure, even though that is something that I'll never live down, I learned a lot from it. It was a learning experience for sure. <laughs> um, and and it, it'll benefit me. Not in just Dokkan, just in life in general, you know? To not get a big head, to not, uh... You know, get too cocky when you're ahead or when you're winning. Just, uh, you know, secure the win first, right? Secure the win first before you start showboating or start talking smack or whatever. Because I, 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 it's, it's like that meme. I don't know if you guys, uh, <laughs> if you have seen this meme. If you're basketball fans, NBA fans, you probably know. But it's like when, like, Nick Young, you know, like, shoots the three. And then he turns around and celebrates with his, like, hands up. And then he turned, and then and then it, it missed, right? He he bricked it, and um, he had he, he, he had, turns around, and he's like, oh crap, I actually didn't make the shot, and he just looks really dumb. Like it's just, it, it's kind of like what I did. I basically shot a three and celebrated before realizing that I bricked the shot. So yeah, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. If I if I ever do any more races, obviously it's not something I've done recently, but. If I ever decide to, uh, you know, race people again, I would definitely not do that. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. We're racing right now, actually. So I'm racing all of you guys. And as you can probably tell, I'm taking it much more serious than I used to. Like, even though I'm talking, I'm still keeping up with the gameplay. I'm still making sure that I get my, my moves in before I talk just to make sure that I give myself a chance beat you guys give me an additional here, come on got the additional but not the additional I wanted that's okay though, we just need one more attack here uh, let's give it to Buhan and we should be moving on after this All right, <clears throat> 25 minutes and 40 seconds. Level 25, so six more levels to go. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, six more levels to go. <laughs> and it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too bad, but, you know, I wasn't expecting to have too much trouble with this team. Um, it is a very much an optimized team for this event. Uh, if you guys don't have a lot of Majin Power units, like I said, you could try Extreme Int. I'm sure it would work decently. And if you can bring like a Kid Boo or Buhan on that Extreme Int team, even better, right? And um, obviously, if uh, that doesn't work, then you might just have to wait until you get your own Buhan, like LR or Boo Tanks rather, the LR Boo Tanks. Uh, sometimes you just don't have the right team, you just don't have the right units, and that's kind of why they have these restrictions for uh, the Extreme Z battle events, right? Because they want you to summon for specific units so that you'll spend stones to try to get like the leader for whatever category is effective for these events. And luckily we have these guys for now, depending on what happens on Sunday. Dude, that's why, like, I'm not sure if I would want, if I would want to restart, man. Like, having to go from having everything to to be able to like beat everything with relative ease to now struggling to like beat the most simple events. Um, would it be the most fun? I have. I don't think it would be the most fun, man. I think it'd be more frustrating than anything. But once again, I'm not gonna make any decisions. I'm not really gonna even like think about it too hard until uh, you know after Sunday, because realistically, I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I I don't think it's gonna happen. And if it does, then I'll accept it. I'll take my L. You know, like I'll, I'll be upset. I'll, I'll probably try to dispute it somehow. You know, I'll try to like write into Bandai. Not that. I feel like it's gonna really do much, but if they do end up doing it, I'll try to fight it. 
and uh, if, if nothing comes from that, then I'll, I'll, I'll accept it, you know, like, it would be kind of upsetting, but life goes on, life goes on. Um, the one thing I do want to say though, man, is like, I find it kind of frustrating or just sad that I've been seeing on social media a lot, like on, on Twitter and stuff like that, of like people hoping and praying that a band wave happens and I just don't really understand like where that's coming from I mean like what do you stand to gain these people that are like you know saying like yo ban I please ban these people um what do you stand to gain from it man it's, it's a single player game it's a single player game no nothing anybody else does in their own game really affects you aside from world tournament where they do ban people for mods but that's understandable but when it comes to clearing single player content, right? Like PV, PvE content, it's it's nothing that really affects you in any way. So why are you so upset? Why why are you hoping these people get banned? And like, you know, why are you hoping these people are like sad? You know, because a lot of people I think when they if they do get banned, um, if it does happen, then they'll be really sad about it, right? So like why are you praying for other people's misery? Um it's doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me you know what i mean and a lot of people like realistically that used the glitch are just people that were curious about it you know they tried it like one time on some random event and never touched it again so you think those people really deserve to be banned i don't think so man i don't i don't really think it's something that should be bannable and even if they did use it multiple times i mean once again, it doesn't affect you in any way. So I just don't understand like all these people that are going off saying, yo, they deserve to be banned. These people, you know, they know what they did, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't I don't feel that way, man. I don't feel that way. But that's just me, you know, everyone's different. Maybe if you see things in a different perspective or in a different light, feel free to comment in the comments, in the comment section. And uh, let me know why you feel that way. Obviously, I'm open to uh, different opinions always, right? So, yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know if you if you agree with my my thought process here, or if you see things differently. But I just don't think it's ever something that you should be doing, like like praying for other people to be sad, um, to have to have things taken away from them. Um, I don't think that's something you should ever do, but that's just me. Anyways, we got three more levels here. We are 31 minutes in. That is a lot of orbs. Sweet. Okay, let's try to get... That's eight for Buhan. That'd be a nice, juicy super here. Over three mil, maybe? Uh, less than I was hoping for. 2.4. I mean, it's, it's something. It's something. <laughs> Okay, 1.7, oh, additional, give me that crit, it's okay, yo, buff boo putting in some work, man, putting in some work for sure, <sighs> this guy's not doing so much, but he's fine, okay, so my boo tanks should finish Goku off here, and then we just got two more levels, I'm gonna try to get it under 36 minutes. Under 36 minutes. Once again, don't forget, we didn't do level one on camera because I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording. It was, it was stupid. But what can you do? What's done is done. So hopefully you guys started the race at, uh, you know, level two, <laughs> which is where I started. And let me know in the comments if you were racing me how you did if you got a better time than me if so what was your time and uh if you didn't then still let me know your time tell me how close you were to uh matching my final time 36 minutes is the goal guys it really depends on our rng if we get really good rng maybe 35 minutes not 34 maybe 35 35 30 maybe 
additional, no additional, so we're not we're not getting the good RNG right now, so probably 36 is more realistic. Okay, here we go. Oh, I messed up. I should have put Boo Tanks in the front and given him those AGL orbs. That was my mistake. Maybe... Ugh. It's not going to do much damage, but it's just going to take more time to, to watch this animation. Yep, 23k, and this should do it. This should do it, and that's going to give us two more minutes before we get to 36. Thank you. Last one, guys. Last one. I'm going to stop the time as soon as we get to the KO screen for level 30. Here we go. Boom, boom. Jumping in. Two minutes to finish this last level. Or the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Extreme Z Awakening. Okay, here we go. There we go. I feel like bringing the Super Boo might have been a mistake. He's not doing too much. But I couldn't bring two Kid Boos. I, I, I first wanted to bring the Fizz Kid Boo for support. And then I realized when I jumped in that you can't bring duplicates. Um, like, you know, two units of the same name on Extreme Z Battle events. So I had to end up switching out the Fizz Kid Boo for the Super Boo. And as expected, it's not really doing much work for us here. <sighs> Wasting more time with his Super. It's not going to do anything, man. Stop trying. Oh, okay. It did something. <laughs> it definitely did something. <laughs> okay. Well, this will be the last rotation. I'm going to get ready to... Stop the timer here, which should be under 36 minutes though. Come on. No additional there. Okay. Come on, give me a crit. A crit and it's done. A crit and it's over. Come on. There we go. Boom. Done. 35 minutes, 25 seconds is our final time, guys. For levels 2 to 30. Not 1 to 30, but level 1, like, honestly took me 30 seconds. So it still would have been under 36 minutes. If you want to add in the 30 seconds it took me to beat level 1, then it's going to be 35, 55. But still pretty good in my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm satisfied with that time. Let me collect those stones. And, uh, ooh, our one off from a multi. Actually, hold on. Hold on just a minute. Got my dailies. And I got some missions here too, actually. Oh, we got four stones there. Okay, so we have 54 stones. We're gonna do a multi. <laughs> We're gonna do a multi. Okay, here we go. Why not? Why not? Super impromptu. Ugh. It's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be nothing. It's fine, though. I'm used to it. I've been doing so many off-camera multis and just getting garbage after gar- Ooh, double? Ooh. There's no way. There's no way. You know what? I'm gonna calm myself because I, I know it's gonna be like Int Gogeta or uh... Just something I don't need, you know, like so, so, something that's already rainbow. Maybe an LR, but like LR Go Bros or something like that. Just like something that's already rainbowed that I can't use. It's not gonna be Tech Gogeta, that's for sure. Not gonna be Tech Gogeta. I know that for a fact. There's just no way. They wouldn't. They wouldn't be that nice to me. They would not be that generous. Oh. I actually think I need this kid. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check. Do I still need Int Gogeta? Or sorry, not Gogeta, Gotenks. I do need Gotenks. Wow, okay, so we somehow got something useful. That was unexpected, I'll take that. Uh, I, I will happily take that over, you know, another Int Godita or something like that. So there you have it guys, pretty solid multi to end things off. Uh, oh, actually, let's Extreme Z Awaken Goku first. 
So, Tech Super. Man, <laughs> they need to bring us version Z on Global soon, because on, on, on JP right now, I'm pretty sure they can just do uh, all the Extreme Z Awakening steps in one go, like in one step. It just fully Extreme Z awakens the unit, and uh, we need that, man. We need that, because this is ridiculous. This is, this is way too tedious. Uh, here we go. Awaken, cancel, awaken. Uh, cancel, awaken. <laughs> like, all of this is just one step. It's just like two clicks on JP right now. Oh, yeah. Please, please bring us version Z as soon as possible, Bandai. I would very much appreciate that. I would very much appreciate that. Well, there you have it, guys. Fully Extreme Z Awakened, Super Saiyan 3. Oh, oh, we can still train him. Uh, let's do... Let's do the Grand Kai's. I'll obviously not waste the training location. And there we go. SA15. 100%. Super Saiyan 3. Angel Goku Showcase coming shortly. Very soon. His links are not the best, but it is what it is. Wait, do I have skill orbs? Can I give him a nice skill orb? Uh, Yes, level 5 attack, there you go. I don't know why I have so many level 5 attacks. I didn't get that skill orb. Or sorry, not skill orb, I didn't get that Dragon Ball? I guess not. I've been slacking, I've been slacking. Well, uh, ooh, level 5 edition, not giving him that. <laughs> not giving him that, okay. We'll leave it at this, there you go guys. SA15 Rainbowed, fully done, Tech Super Saiyan 3, Angel Goku, uh, showcase coming probably in like an hour or two, so stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, once again, let me know your final times, that's my final time, as you can see, uh, how fast were you able to finish levels 2 to 30, let me know. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out